Hey folks, it's Gregory here with Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings and welcome to another episode. Today we are at Round Top, Texas. The Round Top Antiques Festival is the largest one in the United States. This is the fall session. It's October 15th and I am joined today by my friend and fellow dealer, Hansel von Quinzer. And uh, we're going to go take a look around at all of these shops, or at least some of these shops. We're going to interview some of the dealers and we're going to put our own spin on some of the items that we find. Right now we are at Market Hill and we will also visit Blue Hills today and um, I guess that's it, Blue Hills and Market Hill for today. So hang around, we'll get started right after this. And dealers here. So where are we going now? Well right now we're going to uh, Rick Ingenthron Antiques which is in the center of Blue Hills. Okay. And, uh, hopefully we can we can get in here and uh, see some good stuff before they shut down. We got about six minutes. We're coming in right under the wire. Okay. Um, were you not in here earlier? I did not come in this building earlier. Best and most affordable oh, look is at this that. building right here. Look at that chair. Yeah. Is that a wainscot chair? Uh, I mean, 17th century? 18th century. 18th century. Yeah. Off by a century. You're right. Darn it. Right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn okay, it Okay, so, let's see here. Uh, uh, oh, thousand. I could, what's so that? It's not, it's not too bad. Thousand bucks. I mean, that's, I just discovered that I can use the selfie stick to hold the phone like a handle. That's a that's going to be convenient. What is this piece here? This is nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's early 19th century yes. uh, French piece. A lot of that glass is original. Um, and uh, it's been here for two or three seasons. So Has it really? Probably, kind of probably do a good deal if you're interested in it. Yeah. Um, got it now at 2450 but 2450 I, I would expect if that's like a pretty it. yeah I mean that's a pretty reasonable I mean, price for he, that I as think, it I is think he would come down even more yeah yeah let's but, see if we can find him and talk to him yeah look at that uh that's a big brass scales it looks like look at that shelf up there that's pretty good that is a nice shelf I'm missing a piece of trim yeah still really nice yeah. I noticed this last time, but uh, okay. Um, oh, the whole game again. Hey, um, this is uh, Greg with uh, Old European Antiques. He's got a YouTube show and he's showcasing some of the dealers down here. How you doing? If you'd care you good, to good. say a few syllables about your shop and. Uh, <laughs> yes. I've been at uh, Round Top for about 15 years and go to Europe about six times a year and Barnsia Blue Hills and specialize in everything from French to Swedish, Italian, pretty much everything. So and then coral and lamps. So. Religious figures. In religious, yeah. yeah. Well, I know that uh, Hansel was excited to get over to your Absolutely. shop and look around a little bit. We, so. to get, we got in right under the wire. It's, it's about six, but yeah. I'll uh, stop back by Absolutely. within the next couple of days or I'll something. I'll be restocking so. with more Bell and Books. And okay. Books, so. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Awesome. He thinks huh? all I buy his books, but I, I buy <laughs> no. I know. You, I've seen his house. I know that. He's <laughs> the only dealer I've ever actually bought books from. Really? Because yeah. most of them, I just they don't. I mean, they're not very old, and yeah, sure. they want a lot, you know. Absolutely. So, I love yeah. old double books. So yeah. You know that, so. awesome. All right. Well, thanks, Thank Rick. Thanks. Appreciate right. it. All right. Have fun. Enjoy. Have fun. All right. You too. Right. You too. Right. You too. Take care. 
there's a there's a piece over here um, that I like. Um, it's this piece. I think that's a good one. I that's don't like fantastic. It. Yeah, I tell me about that. Um, I mean, what we're looking at here is an 18th century French piece that came out of a Catholic church, and uh, it's currently marked at seventy-five hundred dollars, and um, it's. Uh, it's got some weathering and age to it, so it is what it is. About 44 inches tall. I like that one. That's yeah. nice. Look at that. Take, let's take a look at this bookcase. All right. This, this one here? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's uh, already sold, but... Mahogany? Yeah. Yes. It's like mahogany there. Got some books. He mentioned they have a lot of vellum books. It's really nice. Quite a few vellum books. Look at this little piece. Yeah, it's got that's going to be Italian, uh, 18th century. I may be earlier than 18th century. I think so. Oh, well, that's right. I because think it sure might. We talked about that uh, the dovetails were in common use in, in the mid-17th mid century. I right. mean, dovetails existed since Egyptian times, yes. but um, mid-17th century in England, they were definitely using them. And this looks like it could be really old. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Quite a few sold signs on stuff, so uh, he's, he's got it's a lot been, of good been pretty good so far this this year. I want to see Look this. Look at these uh, books. Yeah, those nope. are. See, I like nice. books like that just for, for their visual appeal. Just having yeah, those yeah. around. Well, yeah, and he's got quite a few of them too. So, do you think you'll make it back down here? But oh yeah, next few. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna. I'm having a fence put in tomorrow, so I'll probably try to come back up here on Wednesday. Done a great job with the display. I have a Baroque uh, Italian mirror here that's so old. That Look at that silvering. Silvering is completely absconded that's, from the glass. That's very popular in, in England, that silver ink. Yeah. 2950. 2950. Yeah. I like it. Alright. So <coughs> I guess uh, you know we might uh, m market hey Craig, uh, yes. Market Hill is not a is not a hard close at six. So and it's just down the street. We might be able to swing by and get some stuff in. Did you actually do a walkthrough today? I did not. Because when you were you told it to me, I was like, I know that name, and then I realized like, oh yeah, that's where the the woman works that has all of the nothing but 18th century and 17th century Italian and French religious stuff. And it's over at Market Hill. It's at Market Hill, and she's very attractive. <laughs> I'm getting, now here's more editing I'm going to have yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, no, okay, there you go. I didn't know I was still on. <laughs> okay. Oh, this table, I just wish it wasn't pinched. It's an early table. So he's got, uh, yeah, five, five grand on the table. I am looking for one of these. Are and, you? Uh, yeah, I had the opportunity to buy, buy Can one you of tell these. me what the name of this feature is? Okay, this right here? No, the, the actual bulb. Oh, this? I don't know what that's called. I did, and I've forgotten, so I'm going to have to edit right. that. How, how can we call ourselves dealers? <laughs> I know we're we walking around, we don't even... We don't know all the, all the lingo, you know? I know. Right. I don't know. Um, I, we should probably get out of here. I think yeah, they're trying probably. to close up. All right, yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, we'll head on. Okay, yeah. All Thank right. you all. See you guys next time. Have a good day. All right, we're at Tomlinson Antiques here at Blue Hills, and uh, Hansel's actually a little bit more familiar with uh, this than I am. So, uh, what are we dealing with here before we go in? We're dealing with a, uh, a dealer out of Florida that's here for both the spring and the fall show. Okay. And they will be here through the end of the month, and they've got some very excellent selections of 18th and 19th century European. All right. Oh wow, this is nice. Let's take a look in here. You see something you want to point out? Uh, yeah, I do. Just, I mean, uh, this, this right here. 
wait, did, is this, did I bid on this at the... I think you did. Thing? No, that, yes. It, well, no, wait a second, no, because it had feet. I'm going to edit all that out. Okay. Um, what are you getting on this? Okay. Yes. This is 17th century German piece. It definitely looks German. Looks like it came right out right out of Oktoberfest. <laughs> and they, they, I believe, I, I think it was here last time. Um, they they had it in an English pub for a while. Is that what I'm remembering? That was a, That's what it would have been used for. Okay, that maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Yeah. Would this have been in a, because normally you see these are out of a church, but this doesn't really no, necessarily no, no, say anything. No, 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 it's a trade figure. Yeah, it's okay. A, yeah, it's a trade figure, but the thing is, you'd never, never find a find them with original paint. Right. Original paint. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a lot of times it was under an overhang at the entrance to the place. But this is a, it's pretty cool, and she's got a great face, and she's young. Yeah. Right, that doesn't. Yeah, it's very, very. Lots of collagen in those yeah. cheeks. I can't take my eyes off the marquetry on this yeah. piece. What, yeah, what can you tell us about this? Yeah. That's probably. Well, it's definitely 18th century, and it could be late 17th century. You call that a Barguenio? Interesting. So they made Barguenos in Italy as well as Spain. I always think yeah. of the Spanish Barguenio. Okay. Yeah, Portugal and everywhere. Yeah. So you think that's 18th century? Robinson, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely, really? It, if it's 18th yeah. century, okay. it's not 18th century. It's definitely 17th yeah. century. Yeah. Okay. This eb ebonized piece here. These are semi-precious stones. Yeah, all carved out, inlaid. It's remarkable. I've never seen anything quite like that. What are you asking for this piece? Uh, I'd like to get like 25000 25, So there it is, folks. This can be yours for $25,000. Any urns or something here that came out of a $14 million house in Coconut Grove? I mean, in uh, Palm Beach. It came out of Palm Beach? Yeah. How old would these be? Nineteenth century. Cast iron. Monumental. Yes, they are. They are monumental. I don't. I don't even want to think about moving them. Well, I don't either. We did it. I almost knocked this spine out, my friend. But they're about over 400 pounds. I'm sure. And was is this French? Yeah. 18th century. Yeah. Original hardware. That's something you never, never see that quality hardware. That is fantastic. Can I take a little video of the, uh, yeah. So this is the original 18th century hardware. The square nuts. Completely untouched. And look at those dovetails. Now that's a hand cut dovetail if I ever saw one. <laughs> and, and is this, are these little uh, pegs, would that be the evidence of a mortise and tin construction or is, would that, is that, would you call it something else? And uh, what about these columns? I noticed you, this, this is one of a pair. The columns are absolutely 18th or 17th century. Late 17th century. Yeah, Italian. Italian. They're polychrome. And we have a French clock here, it looks like. Yeah, with Seb, Seb's uh, panel. Seb's Seb's panel, panel, porcelain panel. That's beautiful. All right, we're at the Blue Hills here, and this is... Uh, Alana Cullen. Okay, Alana, it's nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you too, Greg. I had remarked earlier as I walked by on these amazing rugs, and that's one thing that I don't really know too much about. So can you tell me a little bit about these I rugs? I'd love to. Also, what's the name of the shop? The name of the shop, this is Patrick Charles Limited. Okay. Patrick is based in the Bay Area in California, and he warehouses out of High Point, North Carolina, which is actually where he is right now because the shows are concurrent. I'm his friend from Austin who stepped in to man his showroom while he's in High Point. So I know a little bit about rugs. I'm not the expert. Patrick sources most of these rugs from Turkey. Okay. Travels to Turkey a couple of times a year. Um, we have some antique Persians as well. Most of the rugs are Turkish. The Kaleems in particular are what he's known for, and he makes these amazing Ottomans with rugs and Kaleems. This is kind of his specialty as a rug vendor. Um, 
and most of the rugs are antique, okay. upwards of hundreds of years old, some of them. I was about to ask that, what's yeah. the age on most of these rugs? Yeah. Um, that one in particular right there, that's like a hundred year old Persian rug. It's beautiful, it's 15 feet by 12 feet, and it retails for $12,000, so we have some pretty fantastic rugs in here. Um, and then there are more affordable rugs as well that are made contemporarily now in Turkey. The thing that I love about these rugs is they just bring warmth to a room. Yeah. You know, you, you, you just can't have a complete room without a nice rug Absolutely in it. Absolutely not. And you can see other rug vendors at the market and everything looks really kind of um, orderly. This place feels more like the kind of bazaar you would find in the Middle East. And it's very colorful. It's like an explosion of color and fun. Um, Patrick's brought some accents from Oaxaca, Mexico as well. So it's kind of like the concept of a bazaar where lots yeah. of different things are sold in one place and everything's unique. So it's really fun. It's a really fun show of the working. Well, thanks for the tour, Alana. That yeah, was great. My pleasure. All right, what, what are we going now? We're going into uh, leftovers. leftovers. All right, actually, I was in here earlier. You were in here, okay. Uh, they've got some fantastic uh, stuff. Look like it might go into a uh, hardware store, an old general country store. Right, so that's going to be a lot of Americana. Exactly. What are they getting on this piece? This is a cool that one. That is nice. That's a... Uh, and that's old. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, they... So, yeah. What do you think that is, 18th, 17th century? Yep, we are definitely in retail central, as it, as it is. Check, one, two, okay. Test, test, test. Say that again. Test, 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 test. It, yours is a lot quieter, but that's okay. Okay, well I can speak up a lot more. <laughs> I, if I talk from my diaphragm, it, it, it ends up working out better. <laughs> Take me back to the old theater days. Well, look at this. This is, a, this is what's called a carboy. Yeah, I and know that you've been getting these a lot. I know I actually only have one. Oh. The name was, originally was Karaba. Are you sure? And it was for transporting liquid. Well, if you're not careful, wine. this, uh, what would you call it again? Carabah. This will turn into a carbuncle <laughs> if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. It's yeah. amazing what you can learn. But both are Just green. Out, 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 you know, yeah, both can be green. Right? Yeah. Just out looking for antiques, learning new things. Uh, we're kind of just looking around. Thank you. If, do you have anything special you'd like to point out? I'm kind of taking some video footage. Yes, this right here. Okay, now, wow. This my gosh. Yeah, it's from Belgium. And um, this right here was the original piece. And okay. the restaurant had someone come in and find the same 18th century wood and made these two big pieces. I see. So this was the original piece. This was this the centerpiece. Was the original piece. And, and can you tell us the name of your store? Leftovers. Leftovers, okay. Yes. Well, I was in here earlier and I saw some cabinets that looked like they probably came from a general store or maybe a hardware store uh, on the, the pharmacy, other side. Pharmacy, maybe. Yeah, a pharmacy, yeah, a pharmacy probably. Pharmacy. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, so these two, these two were made to match. This is yes. the central piece. Yes, and these two pieces were made in the fifties. Okay. These. Okay. So these are mid-century period. Mm -hmm. And uh, when would this centerpiece have been made? This would have been, I believe, it is actually. 19th century. Okay, so it's old. And it's from Belgium. It's with the original bleached oak. Can you tell me about the the other cabinet that we were just talking about? The, the uh, pharmacy. The pharmacy the cabinet. cabinet. I've... With the drawers. Oh, this right here. Mm, yeah. This is 19th century. Original. Um, it's, a it's a 19th century surgical cabinet. Yes. I guess they filed. Yeah. I mean, it's you know. These are fairly popular right now, aren't they? This type of thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't move through here quite as easily as you do. <laughs> Pharmacy one. 
Thank you. That one, right? It's a 19th century original paint. Uh, is that pewter? The <laughs> inside is the pewter inside the yeah. Right. The right. Yeah. It, you know, appears to be all original. It breaks completely down. Okay. For shipping, it goes completely down. So it's 19th century. It's just got so much character to it, doesn't it? I mean, I've never seen one quite like it. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. So where did this one come from? Did you say it was French? Uh, Northern France. Northern France. Yeah. Okay. How are you? <laughs> good. Good to see you. I'm with him. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then is this English pewter or where? Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, we're in the Blue Hills barn. Get round top. We'll go in here and take a look around. Oh, this is nice. Cherry wood is original. Choice of wood for them. Is that French? It's French. Yeah. It's a it's warm up. Oh, look at these jewelry boxes. Those are neat. Beautiful tapestry over here. A painted tapestry. It's a really neat shop. I've actually got a couple mirrors just like that at the house and at the shop. I love this camera. That's a real deal. Somebody in the past, like I bought that in inside of London. Uh huh. And I don't, I know nothing about them, but I know it's a real deal. Do you but mind if I film you talking about that? Oh, no problem. Okay, sir. thanks. Don't make me too famous, though, please. Right. <laughs> you don't want to be too famous. <laughs> What's the name of your shop? This is Farming Company. P A R H A M. Okay. And company, and you say you got this. Out of Charleston, I bought that in, in south of London. Okay. And this is it came with two lenses. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So I believe one of them is for uh, let's say zoom, base terms. And it was actually once it was electrified, but somebody put a bulb in it. It will be the oil burner here. Uh huh. You see the chimney is here, so it will be oil burner. Yeah. Okay. And That's amazing. It has few issues, but I, like I said, if it's re restored, it will, it will be very valuable. Well, I did a video not too long ago about the camera obscura, which was the precursor mm -hmm. to this uh, modern camera. And uh, that's really neat to see. So do you, what else do we have in here that we need to take a look at? You've got some fantastic stuff. I'll just go cherry picking. Yeah, absolutely. Is this a hand painted uh, tapestry here? Uh, it's Italian, yes. Hand painted tapestry. And it's painted on hand woven cotton. Painted on hand woven cotton. Where did you get these blackamoors before we move on? They came out of when I was here. Okay. Okay. But there's real Venetian and that's real deal. That's real well, Venetian stuff. stuff. Yeah, there are, yeah. Some nice bronze. Now this is what we call a capriccio. I actually did a video not too long ago on Canaletto. And he painted quite a few Capricci. 
That's a neat one. Looks uh, Italian to me. Here we have a distinguished canine. <laughs> he is. He is a bishop. That's a Renaissance painting, French Renaissance painting. But they're not painted during Renaissance, but they're called Renaissance. Paintings. And this is the bishop. I sold the gardener and owned the butler. Oh, look at this. There's a few of these radios at the shop. You like that green column? Yeah. What is that? Uh, 19th century, approximately 1820s on those carved with a gesso on top. Um, not marked with a price, unfortunately. I would guess that they are approximately seventy-five hundred for a pair. Just knowing their prices here. Yeah. Uh, let me see. We can play a game. Let's see how close I am. Okay. Are you, is this your booth? Yep. How much is a pair of cars? Eighty-five hundred. Yeah, that's close. pretty close. That's close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm filming him if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So your what's the name of your your Yeah. Booth what's here? the name Nolo of your French antiques? Nolo French antiques. Nolo French antiques. Okay. Yeah, if it's okay, I'm, I'm filming a few things. I'll put them on my YouTube channel. Sure, anytime. Yeah. Yeah, there it yeah, is, right great. there. Beautiful. Is there anything special that you can tell us about while we're while you were here? Any yeah. any unique items? Now this is a is this French? Yeah, French uh, body twist. They have you the got key, the keys for the draw. Everything works perfect. The draw close in the center. It's got a. You got the key. Like that. Uh huh. Okay. 1890. Yep, that's a nice piece. Okay. Beautiful mirror too. Yeah. So this is a Black Forest, um, did you say mid or late 19th century? Mid 19th it's been, century. Uh, been stripped. Yeah. Came out out of a vineyard. Where did you get this? Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Bordeaux region. That is nice. Hey, Hansel. Yes. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Bleached again. Yeah. Um, technically not bleach. What is, it's like a different, what is it, like peroxide probably? To get the, because they strip and then to get it more white. Like I'm not sure. That's against my religion. To strip, to strip anything with this old. Pardon? This one was just bleach. Okay, yeah. But they don't. So I don't think bleach. they use actual bleach. They use like another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another well, chemical like a peroxide. There, there is a there is a two composite uh, chemical. Yeah. There's a bleach chemical, right? It's not like cleaning bleach. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That would damage the wood. So. Okay. Well, very well. Um, thank you. Got you got a still live oh, painting there. Oh yeah. So here we are, we're over here at uh, Market Hill now. As you can see, these are some huge metal buildings. And uh, I don't know, for some reason, it kind of reminds me of the Antiques Fair in Parma, Italy, even though it looks totally different. So let's go see what we can find. All right, we are gonna go into Renuvo, find European antiques. And wow, look at this. Fantastic things in here. That painting. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Best thing I've seen all day. How old would you put these? Oh 
Well, I, I mean, mean, that's probably what? Yeah, this, 17th century. This, it's well, no, right 18th century. It's got 1683 to 1746. Yeah. Maybe that's a painting of him after he died then. Uh, looks like the period that he was alive. Look at these chairs, Hansel. These have got some age to them. They do. And judging by the size, I'm going to say that those might be period. People used to not have all the vegetables that we have now. <laughs> I think fast food might be uh, the bigger determinant. Yeah, well, you do have that. I mean, like, I've, I've never seen a better collection of legitimate 18th century Euro European um, religious stuff than this particular dealer. Yeah. I remember last year, look at this gilt wood mirror. Yeah. I mean, it's just one piece after another. Console. Okay, I just have to take a shot of this antique bar. Look at these bottles. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video now. I hope you all enjoyed that tour of some of the venues at Round Top. And I'm gonna finish up today's video here in my own shop, Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings. So as you can see, you don't even have to go all the way out to Round Top. You can just go to Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings. Got 7,500 square feet of European antique treasures. And please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because there'll be many more videos like this and about other topics of styles and periods of antique furniture. And hopefully I'll make it out again to Round Top later this week and cover some more venues. So please do subscribe. I'll see you next time.